Holy crap, guys. I never would have thought that the Kings and the Pelicans had the balls to make such a blockbuster trade. Holy crap. DeMarcus Cousins to the Pelicans. This is going to be an interesting second half to the season. So what's up guys, Jay Red here, and today we just saw one of the most blockbuster trades I have seen in like a while. And this involves DeMarcus Cousins getting traded. Now, we've been hearing all the trade rumors this season or for the past few years that DeMarcus Cousins is on the trade block. Um, Kings are wanting to move him, and finally he gets moved. But the shocking thing is... We did not expect this trade to ever, you know, like, you know, like, happen. Cause this this really shocked me. I was not planning to make a video tonight, and then when I saw this trade, I was like, I gotta get on here and make a video about this and give my thoughts and feelings. So today I'm gonna be talking about my reaction to the Demarcus Cousins trade. Um, give you guys the insight on what the trade is all about, and um, is it a good business move? So. Let's jump right into it. So, before we talk about DeMarcus Cousins and basically his entire career in the NBA, I want to go back to college for a second. Now, DeMarcus Cousins, he was a center out of Kentucky, 6'11", forward, he, and he's now a center. And basically, in his college career, he played in 38 games. He averaged 15 points, um, 9 rebounds a game, and 1 assist. While... Doing that, he was shooting 55% from field goal range, 16% from three-point three range, and he was shooting, and he was a 60% free throw shooter. Now, if you think about it, um, those are pretty good. There's a pretty okay stats for college. Um, um, the the free throw shooting was the doubt because um he he kind of struggled, but now he's 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 now up there. Um, his field goal percentage was a little bit low, but it it it's pretty much up there now. Um, his, his win shares is 6.5, which is not bad at all. Now, looking at DeMarcus Cousins, he was on a team with John Wall, um, Patrick Patterson, Eric Bledsoe, and some other players. And I knew DeMarcus Cousins was going to be something special, because you never see centers or forwards like DeMarcus Cousins in like a while. So I knew DeMarcus Cousins was going to be a really good player in the NBA. He got picked with the fifth overall pick. In the 2010 NBA Draft to the Sacramento Kings, which is now where we jump into this. Now, I'm going to bring up his statistics. For, so far in his six-year career, is, and now coming into seven-year career, he's been averaging 21 points a game, 10 rebounds a game, and 1.2 blocks per game, which is pretty good. And right now, this season, he is averaging 27 points a game, 10 rebounds a game, and 1.3 blocks per game. And his player efficiency rating is a 26. If you think about it, he is one of the top players in the NBA right now. And as I'm looking at this right now, he, it is officially confirmed he is now on the Pelicans. DeMarcus Cousins, he is definitely one of the best players that I know of that is in the that is in the NBA right now. He is definitely a force to be reckoned with. If you are in the paint with DeMarcus Cousins, you cannot stop him. I mean, he's he's putting up boards, he's he's getting rebounds, he's helping his team out. Now, for the first six years he was playing with Sacramento, he has not made the playoffs. And there were some questions about if DeMarcus Cousins was ever going to get a good team around around the Sacramento Kings. And here's the thing. They had Isaiah Thomas. Look where he's at. He's on the Boston Celtics. They could have had Isaiah Thomas and DeMarcus Cousins as, as the one-two punch. Imagine that. Oh, this is where DeMarcus Cousins' bad luck comes in. And it's not the Marcus Cousins' fault. He's putting, he's out there being the best player for the Sacramento Kings, and he's had a string of bad luck. Look at Isaiah Thomas. 
Look at Jimmer Fredette. Jimmer Fredette, he's in Shanghai, China right now, averaging 36 points a game with the Shanghai Sharks, I do believe. And then, um, as I told him, he's on the Boston Celtics right now, averaging 29 points a game. He had two um, point guards that could have made an impact with him. And then he had guys like Aaron Flalo, who is not doing too good, Ben McLemore, who is a true bust, in in the in, in the 2013 NBA draft class, and then he had Rudy Gay, who's getting up there in age, and he's not been the same player ever since he left Memphis. Because I remember back when Rudy Gay was on Memphis, he was a beast, but now he came to Sacramento, and he's not the same player as he used to be. I mean, he's still good, but he's not the Memphis Grizzlies Rudy Gay that I remembered. And then the power forward position. Oh God. Oh, gosh. I don't even want to get started on that. I'm just going to skip that. They had Tyreek Evans at the time. He was a solid small forward. And they all got traded away. Just imagine the big three. Tyreek Evans, Isaiah Thomas, and DeMarcus Cousins. That is a good big three right there. And they all are gone now. Tyreek Evans, he got he was sent away to the New Orleans Pelicans. Or he got signed. Um... Isaiah Thomas went on, he played with Phoenix, and then he went to the Boston Celtics. And you know how that ended up. And then you got DeMarcus Cousins. And DeMarcus Cousins, he is a 6'11 center who is going to give the best that any team got. DeMarcus Cousins, honestly, I felt bad for him because he was, he was such a good player on such a crappy team. That explains all of his technical fouls. He's got over 100 in a six-year, seven-year career right now. And he's in the prime of his career. He's only 26 years old. He's at the prime of his career. He's only going to get better from here. The only thing I'm concerned about for him is all the technical fouls that he's got in his career. Technically, he's got the most technical fouls in the NBA of his career. Uh, a whole entire NBA. I think he passed Rasheed Wallace, and as of right now, he's got almost 20, and every technical foul that he gets for a game, he gets suspended in the next game. That's my only concern about DeMarcus Cousins, is that if he gets a technical, then basically, the he's going to not play a lot of games for the Pelicans, which is going to be kind of kind of bad to hear about, because DeMarcus Cousins, you, you got to think, he's been on a team with such bad players, and now he's and now he's getting the chance to play alongside another all-star. And it's going to be interesting to see. Anthony Davis and DeMarcus Cousins. Oh, man. Oh, man. You're talking about two of the highest scoring leaders in the NBA. Like, Anthony Davis is, like, number five, I do believe. DeMarcus Cousins is, like, number number four, I do believe. You got two of the top five highest scoring leaders in the NBA right now. It's going to be interesting to see. Now, now that we talked about a little bit of DeMarcus Cousins' NBA career, I want to talk about the trade. So the Sacramento Kings, I, I got the newsletter pulled up on ESPN. Um, I got all my sources from ESPN, so this is where I get all my news from because I, I trust ESPN and they're my go-to for anything sports-related. So basically, the, the, de the day of the All-Star game, af after basically... The All-Star Game was over. Anthony Davis, he broke the All-Star Game scoring mark. All-Star Game scoring mark. Passing Will Chamberlain and won MVP. He scored 52 points. You can definitely tell he had a smile on his face when he won MVP. But he probably even had a bigger smile on his face when he found out that he's getting DeMarcus Cousins. Now, the trade. The Sacramento Kings, they traded away DeMarcus Cousins, obviously. And they also traded Omir Caspi to the New Orleans Pelicans, and listen to this. The Pelicans exchange Buddy Heald, Tyreek Evans, Langston Galloway, a 2017 first-round pick, and a future second-round pick. And the Pelicans, they feel confident that they can re-sign Cousins. Now, here's the thing. You got Anthony Davis, who's, wanting them, who's got a max... Max contract, basically. You got Drew Holiday. He's probably going to want some money. And then you got DeMarcus Cousins, who's definitely going to want some money. 
Now here's the problem. Here's the problem I see with this trade. The money. The players. Now basically, the Pelicans, they don't have a lot of good players. They had Buddy Heald as their future. They had Tyreek Evans as a solid small forward. Just imagine this for a second. Drew Holiday, Buddy Heald, Tyreek Evans, Anthony Davis, and DeMarcus Cousins as a starting lineup. And then you have Solomon Hill and, Ty and Terrence Jones coming off the bench. Two solid defenders. That's that's a pretty good that's a pretty good lineup right there. But now you got DeMarcus Cousins, Anthony Davis, Drew Holiday. Nobody heals there, so who's going to play the shooting guard position? And you got no small forward either, so who's going to play the small forward position? Honestly, this was a bad, bad trade. Buddy Heald, he's the future of the NBA. If you guys have not seen Buddy Heald play, he has been a beast so far. Tyreek Evans, he's a he's an average small forward at best, but he he can kill it when he's when he's got the chance. Now he's going back to the Kings. Honestly, this was a bad trade. But then yet again, who else did who else did the Pelicans have have to trade away? I mean, we all expected them to go to the Boston Celtics. I expected Marcus Cousins to go to the Boston Celtics. The trade that would have made sense to me is for him to go to Boston and pair up with Al Warford and Isaiah Thomas. And they sent away Jay Crowder to the Sacramento Kings and and some draft picks. Honestly, this was a bad trade. And right now, it's going to be interesting to see if the Pelicans can make the playoffs. What's going to happen with the Kings? Are they going to start officially tanking? Because they really have nobody except Rudy Gay and Tyreek, e Tyreek Evans, Buddy Heald. Buddy Heald, um, honestly, I'm going to feel bad for this dude because Buddy Heald, he's, he's one of my favorite rookies to watch at the moment. And I really hope his career doesn't get ruined with Sacramento like the, uh, the early part of the Marcus Cousins career was. Because I like Buddy Heald's game. And I, I just wish he would have stayed. It's kind of it's kind of sad to see because the Pelicans drafted him for shooting wise. He started off rough, but now he's killing it, and now he gets sent away and for an All Star. This was a bad trade overall, and I know I'm probably gonna get some hate comments down in the comment section below, but this was a bad bad trade. I really don't think Demarcus Cousins should have gone to the Pelicans. I think he should have gone to Boston, at least. That was the that would have been a smarter move to go to Boston. And play alongside Isaiah Thomas and now Horford. But unfortunately, this blockbuster trade is going to be going down as probably one of the biggest trades we have seen in the history of the NBA. It's going to be interesting to see if the Pelicans can make that push to the playoffs. Wow, I, I've really got no words. I'm shocked. It's going to be interesting to see how Anthony Davis and DeMarcus Cousins play along with each other, along with Drew Holiday as well. So I, I, I'm pretty sure they're gonna figure out a starting lineup and figure out what's best for them. I didn't have, I didn't not pull up the Pelicans' death chart, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll see what they're gonna roll with because I don't know if they had anybody else to replace Buddy Hield. I know they had Solomon Hill to replace Tyreek Evans, so they're going small forward. But anyways, guys, thank you all for watching. Um, if you guys want to keep. Um, Coming back for some sports topics, I'm going to be sure to talk about anything sports related onto my channel. I know I'm going to have a bracketology video coming up soon and some other sports related videos coming up. And my favorite holidays coming up, March Madness. And I'll bring up, I'll bring some bracketology videos and anything else that comes to mind that, that, is, that is shocking in the sports world. So anyways, guys, hopefully you all enjoyed. Um, pretty big trade. I don't know how this is going to work out for the Pelicans, but I guess we'll see. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed. And as always, have an awesome day. Thank you for checking out the video. Don't forget to check out the 24th channel. Don't forget to check out my vlog videos. And be sure to check out some of the JAC videos on his channel. And I have a few posted on my channel as well. Just search JAC videos on, on the search YouTube search bar. I'm pretty sure you'll find it. So um, till the next sports topic video, guys, have an awesome day. And... I will see you all later.